Welcome to another episode of At Least 3 Minutes. I'm your host, John Dolan. This week we will highlight the recent peak and downfall of Drexel basketball. In 2012, Drexel's Dakalakis Center was packed for every home game, seeing the men go on a 20-plus game win streak and finishing the regular season atop the Colonial Athletic Conference standings. Even with 29 wins, the NCAA tournament was no guarantee for Drexel. They needed to beat VCU in the conference championship game to ensure that. Welcome to Championship Week presented by Dick's Sporting Goods. A sellout crowd of 11,200 at the Richmond Coliseum awaits the Colonial Athletic Association final. Drexel versus Virginia Commodore is on top, which he is. The back, Fouch. back to Massinet to tie it. Massinet off the back of the rim. And VCU is headed back to the NCAA tournament. Drexel's guaranteed ticket to the NCAA tournament was gone just like that. Later that week, they were not offered an at-large bid and had to settle for the NIT. The disappointing end to the 2012 and then 2013 season lit a fire under the Dragons, and with starting guards Franz Massenet, Chris Fouch, and Damian Lee all returning, the 2014 season looked promising. Drexel began the season in search of the signature win they needed so desperately two years prior. This opportunity came against Arizona at Madison Square Garden. Welcome inside Madison Square Garden here in the Midtown of Manhattan. It is semifinal number one of the NIT season tip-off. The Drexel Dragons taking on the Arizona Wildcats. Drexel came out of the gates on fire, with Chris Fouch and Franz Massonet lighting up the Arizona defense and forcing Wildcat coach Sean Miller to use timeouts. Drexel was rolling, and the nation was catching notice as this mid-major team was taking it to one of the country's best, that is, until disaster struck. Star guard Damian Lee went down with a torn ACL. His season ended on the floor at Madison Square Garden that night, and in some ways, so did the Dragons. Drexel couldn't recover emotionally and lost the game to Arizona. The team looked out of sorts the rest of the season and finished another disappointing season without an appearance in the NCAA tournament and with the graduation of stars Franz Massonet and Chris Fouch. The next season was not much better for Damian Lee and the Dragons, seeing the team fall to the bottom half of the CAA. Following the season, star player Damian Lee announced his intentions to transfer, leaving the Dragons without a true scorer or leader. Which brings us to this year. With only three wins on the season, the once-packed Dakalakis stands are virtually always empty. But there is hope. Hope that one day Drexel basketball will be back to its exciting nature it brought to West Philadelphia four short years ago.